at this point, I'm gonna welcome up another amazing woman. So we have Ebony Harley, who has spent the, the last year as our Launchpad Fellow, coordinating chapter resources. Who here's been on a program exchange with Ebony at some point? So <laughs> this is the woman behind the Maestro Conference uh, <laughs> platform. So, um, so we'll turn it over to Ebony to, to walk us through the chapter roll call. So I will I can set this up for you while you. Okay. Good morning, everyone. Um, as Trish morning. said, morning. Um, I'm Ebony, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland, and I've been a Launchpad Fellow now for the past 10-ish months. Um, and it's been an amazing experience. I'm so happy to finally put faces and email addresses to names. Um, and thank you so much for just, you know, working with us as we kind of begun this new program exchange endeavor. As I probably said, 10,000 times, you know, we created the program exchange as a space for leaders to teach other leaders what they're doing well in their chapters. Um, and it's been absolutely amazing to see how much talent we have within YPN and just, I pray and I know that it's representative of the sector as a whole. Um, I'm new to the nonprofit sector and so getting a chance to work with YMPN and with all of you has been an amazing experience. Um, I thank you for your time and for sharing your talents. This is like our last hurrah as fellows, and so I'm just like getting it all in now. Um, <laughs> with that said, we're gonna jump right into the roll call. So again, like our program exchanges, this is an opportunity for everyone to kind of strut their stuff. And you have, so if you're presenting for the roll call, if you've heard from me, you sent me a presentation, you say, I'm the person that's speaking at, during the roll call, raise your hand. Now put up a one, a one. That means you have one minute. <laughs> you have 60 seconds to present what it is that you've been doing um, over the 2013, 2014 kind of school year um, to your fellow chapter leaders. So with that said, we're going to start with YPN Atlanta. <laughs> Next we have YMPN Austin. Um, the representative for that chapter is Marilyn Ayala. I want to give her a shout out because she's in her deep dive. And so I told her that I would um, give you guys their Austin's um, accomplishments, which are here. So in during 2013, 2014, the board of directors and committee has been developed. They have a great group of long-term board members and are improving their committee pipeline to leadership. Um, in early 2014, they held a strategic planning retreat for, board of, for the Board of Directors and with a local nonprofit consultant. Um, and in 2014, their Do Gooder Games was their biggest fundraiser. And they're working on providing quality monthly professional development and networking events. So congrats to YMPN Austin. Here's some pictures from there. <laughs> Yes, and they're still going. Next up, we have YMPN Boston. <laughs> yes. 
You had five. <laughs> yep. You. Thank you. Awesome work, Boston. Next we have YMP and Greater Buffalo. <laughs> Next up, okay. Not sure what just happened. Oh, there we go. This is confusing me, guys. I'm sorry. Yes, there we go. Next up, we have YMP in Baltimore. Baltimore. Next we have Central New Mexico.
Awesome! Next up, we have YMP in Chicago. Next up, YMP in Cleveland. YMP in Des Moines. Did I say that? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, these are our social media numbers. We've been around for about, we've been, we launched a year and a half ago, which is what we've been around for about two years. Uh, more than 950, yes, I said 976 <laughs> this morning. Uh, Facebook numbers, 575 Twitter followers. The most exciting thing, though, is that we've continually seen greater than 50% engagement rate on our newsletter. Awesome. Almost enough coffee. Uh, we have we started with coffee. There were four of us, then there were eight of us, then there were twenty of us, and now there are like sixty people who show up to having coffee once a month to have these discussions. The whole identity thing for me was important. So I'm um, one of the founding members. Uh, the whole idea was I ran youth programs at the time. If you don't feel like you're a part of something, you're not going to show up for um, You need people to see that identity, and so that's where we started, and that's where we. 
Um, we have people who are moving to Des Moines, um, and they're like, I looked up online again with NASA website, found out there was something, and it showed up this event. Um, which is, for me, that's telling that um, this network has purpose. And approved. Uh, we do, I think the, great, the, the greatest reason for our open rates is that we do job postings around town and our newsletters. Um, my vision as co-chair for the, this year, I have another year left, is I want to feel like we're validated in our community. If somebody puts a cell on a resume, somebody suspects that. Um, and we're starting to hear that from executive directors in town. Um, we're starting to hear that from people who are applying for jobs. That's awesome. <laughs> Next up, we have YMPN Detroit slash Washtenaw. Who's here? There you go. Next up, we have YMP and Indy. Um, guys, I found out that we were doing this last night. All of that is my face. Um, so we are a chapter that's been around a while, but is sort of in transition. It was a very informal chapter. Let's just have coffees and see who shows up. Um, and then about a year ago, which is when I came onto the board, we really all started realizing that it's time to sort of formalize what we're doing. Um, so right now we currently do coffees and happy hours and professional development sort of throughout the year. But we are in the process of rebranding, so that logo will go away soon, and then something new and really cool will appear. Um, we just expanded our board. We went from six members to nine members and hope to be at 12 members by this time next year. Indianapolis is a pretty good-sized city, and we have a pretty good-sized nonprofit sector. We have a really good um, public affairs program right down the street from where I work really amazing center on philanthropy. So it was just time to grow our board to serve that population. We're exploring how to um, restructure our membership and exploring 501c3 status for our fiscal sponsorship. Um, we are starting a database instead of just having an Excel, which is what existed when I came on the board. Um, we are building a diversity statement and we're currently working with emerging professionals in philanthropy on an event this fall. There's no ETIP chapter in They are supporting our programming in a way that actually really complements what we're already doing with YMPN. So they've been great to work with. And um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. I'm on a lot of the calls trying to sort of figure all of this out and, and bring a little bit more structure to the chapter. Awesome. Thank you, Kirsten. <laughs> Next up, we have YMPN Grand Rapids.
Wow. Awesome, thank you. Next up, we have YMPN Little Rock. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> YMP in Madison. Thank you. Glad you're here. Next up, we have Milwaukee.
That's awesome. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Unless I messed up, and that's possible. Um, YMPN Greater New Orleans. <laughs> Fun stuff. Next up, we have YMP in St. Louis. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> Next we have YMP in Orlando. Tuesday, in my absence, I've been here, we've received five committee applications already, 
membership application from basically an Excel sheet to now we have a membership application. Um, since then, in a year, we've gotten 300 members, which I think is really great. We've also doubled our programming um, where, where we do a social event and a professional development event every month. So two events is one event a month. Um, and we've increased our partnerships as well in the community. Next slide. Um, we also do, we do monthly happy hours and we're trying to do new member welcome events as well. Next slide. Um, we are doing a Lunch with the Leader series. We recently did a lunch with the CEO of um, Planned Parenthood Greater Orlando. We have the um, Executive Director of the Central Florida Community Foundation is coming to do a lunch with us. And we've done a couple other um, really great workshops too. Next slide. And um, our next goals are just really working on increasing our membership and um, sponsorships and getting additional online resources so even though people can't come to our events, we'll have stuff online for them to look at and to see. Um, next slide. And in the uh, stretch membership goals, we would love to do a paid membership at some point in the future, but we need to make sure that we have benefits to justify that first. Um, we'd love to do events all throughout Central Florida. We're really spread out. We'd love to stay in like the downtown areas. We'd love to do all throughout. We'd love to mentor a novice chapter as well, and we would love to host national conference one year. <laughs> Thank you. Next up, we have Orlando Phoenix. 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 <laughs> Just kidding. Next up, we have YMPM Portland. <laughs> We have one P in San Diego.
Mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> Wine Pen, San Francisco. few chapters left. Um, one is a couple housekeeping things. We have 1015 coaching clients. If you have a coaching session now, um, please feel free to go and do that. No? Okay. And we're over time. So I want to make sure that every, we're, everyone's still going to go, but we just want to make sure that everyone is staying at their five minutes. I mean, their one, <laughs> one minute. <laughs> one, one, one finger in the air. Um, 
And so we'll start with YMPN. All right. Good morning. My name is Jacob from Southern Nevada. Uh, you want to take the first slide? Yep. So uh, just a few things uh, on big things. We hosted a, a conference, a joint conference with the local uh, government officials, APA and the APA. We had over 150 attendees. Trish was actually our own keynote speaker, and that was awesome. Uh, and so that was kind of a, a great way to get a public sector folks as well as nonprofit sector folks together. Um, like many of you, we introduced the paid membership structure in December for the kickoff party. Um, actually, we now have 55 paid members since December, so we're really excited about that. Um, we held our second ever strategic planning session, so we've done uh, two in our history. Um, so every three years, we've doubled the amount of people that were in attendance, which is awesome. Um, we transitioned to a new interactive <coughs> website, so we're using Nation Builder. Um, we absolutely adore what we've been able to do with our interactive website. Um, we have expanded the number of board members from six to eight, which is also great for the diversity of people within uh, YMPM within our sector, which is awesome. And then we have actually some really great hard data that was just come out with from Project Six University, um, focusing on our impact within the community through focus groups, academic projects. <coughs> and we now have like really good hard data to help you to sell YMPM to, to the community. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Well, Next up, we have YMPN uh, Triangle. And so Jessie isn't here. She had a death in the family, so I told her I would be happy to give their updates. So they have improved the efficiency in the board with a committee structure. So I'm guessing that they kind of built their structure. They have an executive committee, events, communications, membership, development, outreach, and partnerships, which has improved efficiency and streamlined internal processes. Um, and now we know this because they have over a thousand list of members, and I thought that this was amazing. I'm so excited for them. This has been a stellar year. They have had the highest attendance ever um, in their events that they've been hosting in the past couple of months. Um, they have increased social media interaction and engagement through Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, and they are becoming a name brand in their community. So the conversation and awareness in general of people who have heard about YMPN in their area has skyrocketed, so says Jesse. So we're super excited for the work that they're doing. Next up, we have YMPN Washington, D.C. <laughs> Awesome. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> YMPN OKC. YMPN Twin Cities.
I'm in Kansas City. Woo! Okay, no one's here? Um, they did not give me notes. Oh, okay, sorry about that. Um, double feature, tour of the Google Fiber. <laughs> Happy hour. <laughs> Happy hour. With the Public Administration Student Association at University of Missouri, Kansas City. Looks like fun. <laughs> Tour of Kaufman, Performing Arts, Wine Tasting, we love wine. Branding, you, Luncheon in Partnership, you guys can read though. Um, <laughs> Tacky Holiday Sweater Party, and that is the end. Thank you guys for your time. Um, we're still scheduling program exchanges. I never want to hear anyone say that they, they don't do anything well ever. Um, so I'll be kind of stalking you to present. Thank you.